Okay, can we get there? <coughs> can we get there? Oh, the Oilers lost. I'm pretty sad. But we got a we got a draft. Um, yeah, last time we drafted, we did very poorly. We drafted a green red. Tried to. I don't know. I just don't, I don't I don't like to say I want to force some archetypes, but my my certainly my personal. Um, I would say preference to the point of obviously I play that more, so therefore I'm, I'm I'm far I'm far better with with evasion and icy manipulator tap effects than I am with like some some Jun deck that needs like removal and, and and two for ones and like you know I think that that would require more skill and I don't I don't have. I don't really play that, that that style. So what I'm trying to say here is that it would be nice to open blue black again. We've we've had success with that, but blue white's okay, and then maybe even some red white aggro. I can see myself playing because at least we can play some white flyers. Um, but I think I need I need that in my list. I need some esper. So I think we have to kind of like we're gonna rare draft again, but then I'm I'm pretty much gonna over some Eldrazi green Eldrazi cards. I'm gonna prioritize some some Esper flyers. And the blue, there's some blue Eldrazi cards that will take, but I think that's going into this draft, like I know I'll, until I further lose to people and figure out which cards are, you know, that's, that's kind of one of the strategy I have as well here. I come into a draft not expecting too much and not thinking I'm good at all, and then you just learn, you kind of start playing what beats you, which is interesting, but it, yeah. That, that was a strategy I used in Vintage Masters. Okay, like, is this good? Is this card good? Like, in in Timeless? Is it good in this? I don't like red-green. When it enters, mill six, put into your hand. What's X? W w what is X? Oh, literally with X and its mana cost. I see. Uh, so that's like a deck that has... That seems fucking weird. This card looks like it has flyer, flying, but it's just leaping around. Um, it's like, this card seems unbelievably good. What else do we got here? I mean, this is it's okay. Uh-oh. What do we got? 3-3 three, three Devoid Eldrazi. I mean, wouldn't we just rather just kind of take this? I don't I don't want to. I'm not going to lie. These are There's some good cards here. This isn't good. Um, okay, it's... It's not this. So it's either this... Or this, or this. I, I, it's exactly what I didn't want to do. So we might as well just take this rare. Um, you need to put a mana X, like with a colorless. No, it's not a colorless, it's like an X. Like this is like my favorite card. So the, we took the rare and it's, it's a pretty crappy rare draft, but uh, I kind of want to just immediately go I mean, we could just take this. It's five to cast. I'd rather take this messenger over this, believe it or not. Because we can play two or three of these. But we can only play one of these. So that's a strategy too. It's like, what happens if I get stuck on three? Like, this is good. What happens if I take this and then we see a second one? It's like, fuck, we can't. I don't know if we can play both of them. We can play one of those. We can play a bunch of these. Uh, what about the green? Like, this card's just good. But what about green, red specifically? This card's good too. It's this. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to win if we take this card. I just don't think we're going to win the tournament. Maybe if we take this card. But I just, I'd just i rather just take this Emrakul's Messenger and actually try to win some games of Magic. Because that's what I was saying going in. Like, it's exactly what I, I, I mentioned going in. I feel much more comfortable. So it's okay. Oh, man, this is just so good. You can return target creature to its owner's hand on cast. Okay, we should take this. It's not the really high end. Uh, this card's okay. You put a flying counter on it forever. This is a really good combat trick. Like in red-white. Blue-white. Seems really, really good. I don't know about a black-white list. I, I haven't been impressed by anyone playing against me. Certainly we've lost, like... Green Eldrazi, green black, green red. Okay, we'll take this. 
I think this is just... I don't know. We can leave it here, but... Can I move it over here? Um, meltdown. There's, this is really good. So... Yeah, yeah. This is very good. <coughs> okay. Three bin charm. We're making our blue white, <laughs> blue white flowers deck. Seems fine. We could go like... Um, this would be blue black. Yeah, so it's Sultai. I like this charm here. We're building the list, you know what I mean? It's there. Electrozo is pretty great. What is this? No rares. Wow. It's a sorcery though, so you can't do it in response. Oh, but if it's modified, I see. It's just in the graft, that's really cool. Or ad adapt, or whatever it's called. The black green. Uh. What? It's, you, you can make it something every turn, but it's kind of slow. Uh, yeah, yo, this is good. I mean, I like this card a lot, but it, it kind of sucks on our curve. Like, this is pretty cool. Like, I mean, we, we have the Depth Defiler. I think we take the Meddler's stuff. The Meddler's absolutely incredible. Worm's Chant? We should definitely take it. We can play it. Creatures can't attack this turn, right? And it's good for timeless. That seems fine. I will rare draft the... And it seems like there's nothing for us. What do we got? Nope. Blue, red. Huh. Orange is nice. Pick six. So we are trying to rare draft. Roshin. We never... We n I've never seen that card. I don't know what you're talking about. We pack one pick to an orange chance, apparently. Okay, what do we got? We got the... We have the counter spells actually playable in this format. I like it. Uh... Whoa. This is kind of cool, but it just kind of sucks. This is, this is good. Huh. What's better, this white removal or this counter spell? Choose target creature with three or less. If it's kicked, exile the creature. I'm going to take the counter spell, but uh, that expelled the unworthy. Uh, we probably should have taken it. Sapphire Medallion. Are we going to rare draft the Sapphire Medallion? Is it very good? I don't think it's even good. If it were Ruby or Jet, like I would take it. I, I don't think we even want this for Timeless. So it's like... Um, this this go, runs away like early. If that can get through somehow, it can go big. But... I mean, I don't want that... White, black. I think we take the Slith instead of the Rare Draft. I'm okay with that this time. This Harvester is not overly good. This is white, blue. The Harvester is okay. <coughs> the Harvester also kind of sucks. I mean, it's a 2 1. So it's just like this loot effect is. I don't know. It's suspect. Um, what about. AKG, hey, what's up? Devoid plus Sapphire? <laughs> Is it? I'm okay without the, the Sapphire medallion this time. I did take the Orange Chant, that was cool. And then we, we tried to... this like The pack was so bad for us that I ended up actually just taking this to try to play it. And then I immediately took the Emrakul's Messenger just to... to wee Get the fuck... I kind of want to take this. Um... We just like hate draft this from somebody who because they need multiples. I mean, what do you want? I, I like this over this. I, I also like this is like the best card in the format, but we're, we could could like play both of these, so I that's not that's really unfortunate to pass. I like this trick over this draw energy. I don't think we're playing blue red energy, and this wing it's really good. This is the combat trick we need if we get some early drops. This is a very good card. Like, it's just, it's just played, this has played, it, it doesn't seem that good, and it's not as good. Oh, man, this tabled. I'm so glad we took, uh, what did we take over the Electrozoa? We took the Meddler. We got the Meddler and the Electrozoa. That's so sweet. Okay, pack one's pretty good here. Oh, you know, this is my style of, of play for sure, so that's nice. Shifting Woodland's very playable, I think. I don't know if we, like, I'd rather take this Codal. Let's think about Shifting Woodland here. It's fairly expensive in paper, right? Good in paper. I need it for my uh, commander deck in paper. Uh, 
I mean, am I ever going to play this on in timeless? No, I don't. We've talked about this. I don't have a green deck, and this is literally just a rare wild card. So I kind of don't care passing this. This is like a super playable card, right? I'm not playing. I am playing Esper Control. I am playing. Uh, let's look at the rest of the pack here. I don't know. We passed this early. I didn't. This we passed the second pick with the Roshin or whatever. I just didn't. I just don't. This card seems really, really bad. What would this be good with? Like, what deck am I playing this with? Because you have to return a creature, like itself. You could play it a couple times. The 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 total. Okay, so like, there we go. There's our second one. That's just absolutely phenomenal. This is not legend, is it? No, legend's legend. It'd be terrible. Legends are just legends. Flying two one for two. I'm sorry. What? This card's incredible. Look, we have that. We have two piece now. Now we have this bash, bash. Holy crow! Um, this kind of sucks, but we have the ch the charm to to kill the blocker, and uh, we have the wing it now as a combat trick, where we can just swing all in, right? And the wing it's really nice because we can just kill their blocker, and our thing gets a flying counter forever. So if it's on the slith or something, I mean, this card just just isn't good at all. I just don't think that's good in any format. Oh, wow, this is so cool. We get to pass the Polluted Delta for a third messenger. Such a game, eh? Welkin Turn is... It was We just broke the ZZ Dubs format with Welkin Turn. There's no reach or flying outside of the Vampire Nighthawk. There might be a reach alley one that wasn't played. It was unstoppable. We did very well in ZZ Dubs. There's a lot of really cool blue... There was, there was a World Wake kicker card and it became like a 3-3 three, three fire flyer for 4. It was really hard to open because it was in the third pack, but it was fun. If we're passing Polluted Delta, yeah, so like in, in this format, exactly, like this format is a lot different, but I still like this. That's such a cool pick. Look at that. The Polluted Delta over... Uh, passing Polluted Delta. Like I might take this Toxic Deluge because we don't have it, but we have four Polluted Delta. That's so funny. It's just so strange. Like I would obviously just rare draft that in paper and then like trade it to somebody. I mean, this auxiliary is one of the best cards, though. I, the Toxic Deluge is a, is a rare wild. I kind of want to try to win the draft this time and take this and not a rare draft. Hmm. I mean, the Toxic Deluge is really playable in... in uh... Yeah, yeah, you're right. KG in chat here is, is mentioning... I kind of like the Toxic Deluge rare draft here. I like I can actually play it in um, timeless like it's in my list I think it's pretty good like I, I need it's like a rare it's like an actual wild card that I would actually take so it's this the visionary is okay suppression right tap all creatures you may oh my god oh but we don't have too much energy that card's very good though it's a sorcery it's either this or maybe a second, uh, a second wing it. Maybe this is Serum Visionary. I mean, Suppression Ray is a pretty good card. We'll take it. It's a blue white land as well. I mean, how do we get energy though? Like oh, even one? Uh, oh, this gets energy. Okay, that's it. This this gets energy. Okay, cool. Okay, we have a little bit. So is there anything else? Like what about? Blue white here. There's blue white. That's good. Um, uh, that blue white land is good. Yeah, I guess we did. We took it there. Yeah, and we'll take this. This is really good. So now, I I very much dislike that card. Is there anything else we can play? Oh wow. I know we can't splash for this. It taps the creature, anyways. With no energy. Yeah, you're right here. The suppression ray. So for five. Oh, it taps all creatures just for five. Okay, I thought, okay, that's very cool. Um, I didn't take the truth. I just, <laughs> I just, I'm just not playing that other card. I just, I, I refuse to play that other card. I'm not even playing one. No, we're not. We're just, it's not, it's not happening. This is a blue Asultai. I don't know about this. This just doesn't. Does this do anything? It can bounce this back. I just. It doesn't do it as an instant. It seems very poor. I don't have any of these. 
Do we get like infinite snow covered wastes? Uh, or do we have to collect? I'm gonna take some of this. This is only pa pack. This is pack two. <laughs> this is pack two. We have a pretty, pretty good card pool so far. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, this card. We'll, we'll take some blue black because we now can maybe play blue black. I don't want to. Oh, this card's very good. We're taking all the blue black stuff. Just open. Okay, here we go. Anything good? <laughs> what the fuck? Damn it. Um, are we playing? We're just we're playing full Esper. I did say I want to play Esper Flyers. I mean, I think we should just take this for timeless as well. Play this Flare of Denial. Uh, something kind of suit subtlety. I, I mean. We're getting trapped in this blue blacklist. I mean, we're not taking this meddler. I don't think we would play two copies. Deep analysis. Sink into super. Is sink into super is pretty good. We, 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 like, let alone just like rare draft. We might have to play blue black. We might want. Well, we might want to play blue black. We picked up a couple of really good cards in blue black. I mean, we have toxic dealers as well. Um. This card with like the the raise dead effect is just kind of I I think the raise dead is is better than I am at magic I think so like this one one I think we need that for our curve and then we use like the wing it or something I like it more than this for four we get a, a token and we raise dead I'd rather just have like that red lance actually pretty good. But I just, I, at this point, I don't care. It's like this. Dog Umbra is pretty good, too. What is this? No, I kind of like Dog Umbra here. It just, you put it on their blocker. It's just, it's, we're playing aggro, right? This, this is what we do here. It's like hard removal. It's better than this. This It's not necessarily better, but we don't have one of those auxiliaries yet. Windswept Heath. There's another Wing It. Maybe we should take this second Wing It. I like it better than this Electrozoa, I think. Yeah. Again, we passed the... Uh, no, I think we need this over the... I don't really like this card. I mean, it's just really... I think it's really just bad. This is... We have a Shadow Spinner... What is this? I, uh, I just, I don't love that. A third wing it? I don't know about that. I don't like this card. It's a 3-3 flying for 4, but in this format, for, for some reason, it's just really bad, I think. 3-3 three, three flying for 4. Like, this is a much, much better card. Uh, I think we take this. In case we play blue black. It's actually really good. Oh my god. It's a really high pick. I mean, this, this card's very good. Sneaky snacker here. I don't. I just. I'm not overly confident on our three color land base here. I think we can just take this. We have a really good blue white aggro deck, and we can play two meddler at the top end, or we could play this. No, we should play this. Midler's really, really good, though. Nice. So tranquil. Oh, wow. Alright, this should... Should. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot of Electrozoa. I, I, I'll play all four of those Electrozoa. All four. Got energy. I'll take this for timeless. Okay, I think we have a pretty good list here. I don't think we're going to play the Orm's Chant in all honesty. We're going to pull, pull the Classic, though. I mean, we have a really good uh, blue-black. Let me just cut all the blue-white. 
we'll, okay, so we'll, we'll go in order here. We're definitely playing three-piece messenger. Like the whole list is this messenger. So we have this Codal, incredible, absolutely incredible. This card is incredible. We're on, we're on our, we're on our way. We need to kill their blocker. We need to get in early with the one-one flyers. We need some combat trick. This thing's incredible. Four-piece Electrozoa and our Meddler. We can play our Suppression Ray and our second Meddler. So now we we got the Charm. We have one Counterspell. Let's Defiler. I don't like having like three piece vibe drop. It's kind of messed up. We could take out a meddler for this depth defiler and then play this thing, or we could actually just play the Orm's Chant, which I don't love. The Orm's Chant's kind of cool. Like you play Orm's Chant in their upkeep, and then it's like our turn, right? So they can't play a blocker. It's like I think it's it's kind of like a. It's like a, a time walk discard a card. It can be, early in the game. Like, you don't get to draw the card. You know, like, you don't get another turn and untap and shit, but it's not the worst. Um, I just don't want to splash... I don't want to splash... Um, is that going to burn us? This is going to be good. We can take those out if it, if it hurts us. So it's, it's literally just, it's just this, it's like our list, right? Or we play the Orm's Chant and remove one of these five drops, because we could play this as a land. 17 land, that's fine. This thing just thins the library, really. 8, 8, 1. I like that more. Okay, 